Welcome to my indie game. I can only hope you are ready for my emotional roller coaster of game design. This is by Guardia 4 months ago. The reason I'm showing it is not to have a montage on the progress, I wanted that for later. But I need to talk about my suffering with the user interface, and I need the clips to lead you through the whole journey. In this early video, there is not much happening on the UI. There are three spell icons, and that's it, simple times. This is the next episode, where I replace the circles with some actual sprites, and for an unexplainable reason, I move the spells to the left. Not sure why. That mystery died with past me. Then, a massive update. I implemented the viewport, built a simple but nice world, and got inspired by the Diablo UI. The life and monoglobes on the sides are pure childhood nostalgia to me. I grew up playing Diablo 2. The spell icons being in two rows are definitely weird, but let's pretend it never happened. What came next is a huge mess. I started adding way too much content. First, an obelisk to be protected, with its own life bar UI. Secondly, a tower defense system, which came with a button to build a tower, but thankfully I discontinued both of these features. Why thankfully? Because it would take me forever as a solo dev to finish a game with so many features. I found peace two months ago. I introduced the first three classes, so instead of showing a million spell icons, there were only four at one time. I was happy with this UI, for the last time. A dramatic change happened next. I removed mana as a whole. I do not regret this decision, I still believe my game is better without mana, but the UI suffers greatly because of it, to this day. The life globe now looks too lonely, it's bad because it is asymmetrical. Another addition in this episode is the wave system. And with that, a new UI element came along, the wave indicator. What wave you are on, how many enemies are left, simple stuff. It lacked design though, since I just printed these informations on the top. I tried to save the situation by replacing the life globe with a life bar. I cannot say too much good about it. At least, it is symmetrical, but it's not visually pleasing, the game looks like it is in mobile view, just no. But I had no idea for a long time how to fix it. A few episodes later I improved the wave indicator by giving it some graphics. Top left corner. I'm happy with how it turned out. There are different wave types, which are undead, nature and orc, and each comes with a unique banner image. The text layout is also slightly better. But no matter how good it turned out, the life bar was still a big problem. The final nail in the coffin was when I added one new spell to all the classes. This is great for gameplay and replayability, but further worsens the UI situation. Now there are too many spell icons and the life bar is not wide enough to keep up. I was very displeased with the UI. I wanted the globes back, I wanted symmetry, but I didn't want to put mana back in the game. With that, we have arrived to the present day. I pulled my hair out all week to do something about the user interface, and while I'm not perfectly satisfied, this is what I could come up with. The globe is back, and overall everything is symmetrical. It is unusual for the wave indicator to be on the bottom, but this is the best I could do. If you have a good suggestion for the UI, please let me know. I will name my firstborn child after you if you can solve my misery. Now that the drama is over, you may have noticed new particle effects coming out of our main character. Let me explain what else I have done. I added this new glowing particle effect and started overusing it. I mean it, I'm using it for literally everything. The basic projectiles. Play. Fire room. Death 
game. Fire Nova. They appear randomly in the world. And if you don't stop me here and now, I will keep adding it to every single spell and enemy. Another huge change is the Ice Spike. It took me months, but I made it look like an actual Ice Spike. If I were asked in a future job interview what my biggest accomplishment is, i definitely say this. Since we had no action so far, check out this cool necromancer clip I played yesterday. In other news, I have been working on my Steam store page for a while now, so Spellguardia is coming soon. Thank you for watching.